10 Best Supercars for Drag Racing Traditionally, the most common drag races have used ratty cars with rear-drive front motor muscle and barrels of rubber thicker than a rhino behind to get the most out of their local quarter-mile. Technology, however, is a rambunctious soul, seemingly bettering itself beyond human expectation, and often desire, producing sub-10-second supercars in dramaless squeals of rubber thanks to combinations of traction control, drivetrain layout and, obviously, power. Some still wet the glorious internal combustion appetite, even in atmospheric guise, while others have zingy assistance or all-out battery propellant. Either way, these rather expensive representations of human advancement are the fastest cars for the drag racing strip and beyond. 10 Audi R8 GT Like the Huracan, a subordinate to the second-generation R8, Audi hasn't feigned inability to produce revisions since the model was launched in 2015. Yet despite the many additions before it, the final GT represents an R8 whose talents strive further than lifestyle cruising on linear lanes. Ditching the Quattro system of drag strip promise, the rear drive system originally developed in the RWS model features Audi's specially developed torque rear drive mode that lets owners choose if they'd prefer a 3 second 0 to 60 or a Harris S controlled smoke show. 9 Nissan GTR. Dubbed the supercar killer, the GTR has is like a two-stage rocket system. From 0 to 60 it scoots sub-3s over and over again without an issue, but further on it needs some source. Don't worry, though, the fable of Godzilla costs about as much extra to go from Carrera GTS to 911 Turbo, and you can modify your GTR with afterburners that won't be ending an engine anytime soon. Such is the allure of the supercar killer that can carry an atom bomb with little supervision. 8 Porsche 918 Spider. What looks like a highlighter, sounds like a jet and feels like Deadpool's suffocation chamber. The 918 Spider of course. The Targard V8 hybrid hypercar with cannons behind the headrests was designed for nothing short of pulling oxygen out of your lungs to make your body feel like a collapsing star under the weight of its performance. With an all-wheel drive system perfected in Porsche's 911 turbo developments, the 918 rockets to 60 as fast as a Bugatti Chiron, in a quoted 2. 5s which in Porsche speak means you can get it a couple of tenths quicker. 7 Lamborghini Huracan Performante While equipped with an albeit glorious engine, the Huracan has lacked in looks and spirit, leaving many to wonder if the buck end of the bull dies with the Aventador. Even in its mildly understeery journalistic debut, the Huracan Performante was hailed as one of the all-time SWB Lamborghini greats using new materials like forged carbon fiber to increase structural rigidity without sacrificing lightness and an aerodynamic system called Ayla to actively guide air to provide utmost downforce whenever most required. 6. Porsche 911 Turbo S All hail what must be the fastest unassisted sports car that isn't a track day special. The 992 Turbo S is really just another old 911 with a revised body, new interior, 8-speed dual clutch replacing the outgoing transmission with an extra gear and a revised 3.8 flat 6 with enough potency to send Porsche's most long-standing performance mark to an incomprehensible quarter mile just shying 10 seconds dead. 5 Ferrari F8 Tributo Where the 488 was a revision of the 458 platform, the Tributo does the same to the outgoing GTB, rather than acting as its own completely renewed car. Different to the GTB though is a new 3.9-litre twin-turbo V8 that comes with an audio notes more breathless in volume as the car it replaces, but nonetheless uncanny in its ability to impress. Acting as a send-off to the mid-engined V8, the majority of its design and internals come from the stupendous track-only 488 Pista whose engine almost had the legs to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with McLaren's ridiculous 720s. 4 McLaren 765 Lieutenant Few have dominated the racing scene as a whole as McLaren Automotive's flurry of mid-engined missiles. Known better for their engineering precision to shave off tenths on a lap time, McLaren is synonymous on the streets for being an otherworldly UFO, landed on Earth simply to make anyone who feels like they're fast feel infinitesimally slow. The 765 Lieutenant was designed with a larger wing, hence the long tail suffix, which should denote increased drag and an all-in-all, slower car, but it's absolutely not. 
It'll run a sub 10 second on a street rubber set in rear drive. How McLaren's 4.0 litre twin turbo V8 manages to put all its 755 horsepower to the ground, from a dig, is an engineering feat beyond belief. 3 Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Certainly a spec dependent car as far as looks goes. The deeply controversial SF90 Stradale marks a departure from the brand's self-serve RWD driver's cars in exchange for a few more steps up the rung of exclusivity and unusable performance. Excluding the extremely complicated double drivetrain system in the FF wagon, the SF90 uses Ferrari's first true all-wheel drive system and some electric motors to create a flagship hypercar that runs 9.5 second quarter miles with an unspilled drink in its cup holder. Unfortunately, though, it's about as heavy and as loud as a Tesla Plaid, so we're not sure whether it's befitting of the Ferrari name or not. 2. Remac Nevera Whether you know Remac for driving a very short celebrity off a cliff or from their recent partnership announcement with Bugatti, the Croatian name is poised to dominate the performance car segment of the future. Its latest flagship, the Nevera, is named after one of the Mediterranean's most swift and violent thunderstorms, comprises an assortment of numbers so weighty it's no surprise Bugatti struck a deal. Each wheel is independently driven by an electric motor, which not only has the ability to send power directly but also 1. Pininfarina Batista Via Automobili Pininfarina Shapes of the most voluptuous nature etched in the foothills of Italian Exotica's history owe much of its design heroism to the coach building house Carrozzeria Pininfarina. First founded in 1930, the designer has evolved into a standalone brand with its own entrant to the hypercar space. Like the Nevera, it's an all-wheel drive electric psychopath that looks as wild as the thousands of numbers that drive it.